Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat 500, guys. If you have a Fiat 500 and uh, you need to recharge your AC compressor or the AC blows hot air, you want to check if you have pressure in the AC system without using computers or anything like that, you can just get the AC kit, guys, and you can connect it. We will explain where the low pressure, high pressure port is located in case you're using the professional recharge system, and we'll explain where just the low pressure port is located. If you're using one of those quick recharge kits and we'll explain where you can get one from for a really good price and quick shipping as well uh, before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos for you guys and if you need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools supplies for we can save a ton of money so with that being said let's explain what we have here we'll be demonstrating on a fiat 500 abart but even if you have an all abart version it could be a very helpful video as well uh, what do we did guys okay we removed the air filter box so we can get to the high pressure port we can show you where it's located if you want to see how to remove air filter box assembly on fiat 500 abart we have the video on the channel the system uses the r1234yf system guys this is a special freon this is the freon it's a different can <coughs> actually it's reverse threaded i will put a link in the description of the video below where you can buy the kit from this is the fewer okay which is uh, this is the recharge kit which is super convenient now if you look guys if you open the hood okay first you will notice that you have one port right here okay uh, right here and this is the low pressure port that's where you usually connect your can you remove that cap okay and once you remove the cap, I'll show you in a second. Okay, this one just stays there. Check it out. Okay, you connect your can through there. Usually if you use the single uh, recharge kit, guys. This is the R1234YF system. So, let's see. Okay, uh, if, okay. Uh, this is the low or the high pressure. And, and, oh, this is, I believe this is the high pressure. I think so. Let me see now. Now, the other side, guys, the other port is located, the AC compressor is located right there. Okay, on top of the AC compressor behind the intake hose, we are talking right there. That's the uh, low pressure. The other one is the high pressure. This is, okay, the low pressure port. Okay, and you just push it in. Okay, and it connects. And you can check the system okay right now because the car is turned off it's 60 so that's where you recharge it from it's very inconvenient <coughs> in some cases i recommend to get the long hose you may need to remove the uh, uh that that's good like that you may need to remove the uh actually the uh you can see right here the air filter box install it now so you can start the car recharge it and later uh, disconnect it guys remove the box disconnect it put everything together so that will be probably your only option guys but that's how you will be able to do it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time